Our hearts rejoice, for our salvation is at hand. Christ, Christ is, is risen. Hallelujah. Sin, death, and the devil have no power anymore. For God has saved us. Hallelujah. No more do we weep or mourn, but shout with joy. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Today we worship our risen Savior who gives us eternal life. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. The grace of our risen Savior, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And I also be with you. Let us pray. God of mercy, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead, for he is alive and has become the Lord of life. Increase in our minds and hearts the risen life we share with the Christ, and help us to grow as your people toward the fullness of eternal life with you. Through Jesus 
Thank you for joining us for worship this morning. Special welcome to all of us that are joining us online for this service. If you need a bulletin for this service, please go to trinityvoicefield.com. We also, you can find a donation form for an online donation. We do want to thank you all for being here this morning. For those that are online, if you wish to have communion this morning, we invite you to join us from 10 to 1030 um, here in the parking lot for drive through communion. Please know that the office is going to be closed tomorrow and Tuesday, um, and I will be back in the office at some point on Wednesday. Also, uh, every Saturday in April, the Women of Trinity are collecting household items and clothes uh, as a fundraiser uh, through the Savers program. Every Saturday, the church will be open from 9 to noon, and you can bring stuff in, or you can give me or Peggy Shoots a call, and we'll get you uh, by apartment and get the church open if you have stuff uh, to donate for that. The Mission Trip Youth are collecting items for our silent auction, which will be online in May. The deadline for those items are two weeks from today, April 18th. We invite you to bring those again to the church. We're looking for all sorts of wonderful items that you might um, have. We do ask that the items be new. Uh, um, anything that's old, you give to the women. Anything new, you give to the youth. And last but certainly not least, um, we're coming up on a couple weeks for our deadline for our butter grade orders for our confirmation students who are going to camp. Um, you can, there's a link for that on the website, or there is a order form on the table in the narthex, or contact any confirmation student. We continue our service with our scripture readings. Our first reading comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning with the first verse. Now I remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received, in which you also stand, through which also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I hand on to you as of first importance what I in turn have received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. And that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether that it was I or they, so we proclaim, and so we have come to believe. This is the word of the Lord, and may you please stand for the reading of the gospel. Our gospel comes from the 16th chapter of Mark, beginning with the first verse. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome brought spices, so they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed, for you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he's going ahead of you to Galilee. There will you see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled to the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of our Lord. You may be seated. Avenger. We meet Steve Rogers. 
Rogers, who would eventually become Captain America. But before he becomes Captain America, Steve Rogers is a scrawny, sick, skinny, sickly young man. He so much wants to volunteer for the Army to serve his country in World War II. But due to his physical ailments and weakness, constantly gets rejected. He's sitting in a movie theater watching newsreel of the war when someone is being disrespectful. So Steve yells at him, tells him to be quiet. And then the guy stands up. And he's twice Steve's size. The next scene we see that man beating the heck out of Steve Rogers in an alley. He's beating him so bad that he basically tells him, hey, just like stay down. But Rogers, bleeding and broken, stands up and says, I can do this all day. In later Captain America and Avenger movies, he will repeat this line many times when he's getting beat on by other people. Always rising. We are people who sometimes get punched by the world. We've been punched by pandemic for over 14 months. We get punched by grief when we lose a loved one. We get punched when there's injustice that's done to us. We get punched down when we have conflicts at work or relationships that we value disintegrate and crumble. We get punched when we deal with ailments like cancer and addiction. And there seems to be times in which the world is telling us to just lay down. To lay down. And then, because Jesus Christ is risen, because today Jesus has defeated sin and death for you, because Jesus promises to be with you always, we can say, I can do this all day. I can get up again and again and again. Because Jesus is risen, we are renewed and made alive. The old self is dead. A new self has been put in its place. Because Jesus is risen, there is always hope. No matter how badly we get beaten, no matter how hard the punches are, we can rise because Jesus has risen first for us, for us who are sinners, for us who are Captain America. Jesus has risen and he is alive and so we are alive. If this year hasn't taught me anything but that is we can continue to rise. That nothing can put us down to be that as people of God, nothing can put us down as we live our lives because Jesus is with us, giving us the strength to go on, giving us the power to rise up again and again and again. Because the fact of the matter is, Jesus doesn't just rise on this Easter Sunday. Jesus rises every single day for you. Defeating sin, defeating death, defeating the devil, defeating all that might enslave us. Jesus rises so that we can rise. So that we can do this all day. My friends, no matter what life is throwing at you, no matter what punches are coming your way, you can do it all day. You can take it all because Christ has taken it all for you. It is not you who live, but it is Christ who lives in you. And because Jesus has risen, we can continue to keep going. As people of strength and of hope and of love, because of the strength and hope and love that we've received. If you're not down today, get up. You can do this all day. Because Jesus is alive for you. Hallelujah and amen. Thanks be to God. I want you to please stand for our hand. I know that my Redeemer lives.
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people, according to their need. Amazing God, your Son, Jesus Christ, defeated sin and death by rising from the grave, giving us hope and salvation in his name. Help us to live as people of hope, shouting hallelujahs in every aspect of our lives because of your love and grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of love, you show us your love every day. Inspire us to love one another and to reach out to all those in need so that they might have hope and new life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of healing, there are people we love who are suffering in body, mind, and spirit. Heal them, give them strength, and help them to feel your presence. Take away their fear, give them patience, and lift them to new life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you bless us with all things. Help us to care for what you have given us, most especially your creation and to be thankful for all the gifts you give us. Inspire us to use our time, talents, and treasures to further your kingdom and proclaim your gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Savior, you defeated sin and death for us. By your resurrection, we have the promise of eternal life. Comfort all who grieve the loss of loved ones and help us stand firm on the promise of eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands we commend all to whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also, and also with, you. with you. I invite you to turn and, and wave and share a sign of peace from afar. And those online, I invite you to share peace in the comment section. Again, if you have an offering, um, there are often plates uh, on, by each door that if you do not place them on the way in, you can place on the way out. And again, if you're watching us online, you can give through the website TrinityVoiceville.com or you can download the Give Plus app, search for Trinity Movement Voiceville, and give through the app. We continue with our operatory prayer. Let us pray, O giver of life. The whole universe sings a new song of praise. The rivers clap their hands. The hills ring out for joy. As you raise us to new life in Christ, give us voices ready to cry out for justice and proclaim your resurrection wherever your spirit leads us. In Jesus' name we boldly pray. Amen. And now hear the word of the Lord. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave to them to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray the prayer our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come now, the table is set, and our Lord Jesus Christ invites you to receive the gifts of God for you, the people of God. The body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ poured out for you. If you've never used our little two-in-one communion packets before, there is a small flap at the top which will help you access the gluten-free bread.
And then the big one slap is for the great seats below. We invite you at this time to take your music in your seats, and then you can uh, take your uh, leftovers and place them in the garbage can as you exit this morning. I know you used to like being in your like 25 minutes on Easter, but let us pray. Oh, sorry. May the body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you, keep you in His grace until life of the last day. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, resurrected Christ, we give thanks for this gift, the body and blood of you. This hope that we have in receiving this sacrament. Remind us of the gifts of forgiveness, life, and salvation we have through this sacrament. And inspire us to be Easter people, shouting hallelujahs, and giving thanks for your resurrection, which brings us to eternal life. In your name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you and raise you to newness of life. Go in peace to love and serve the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. I do want to give thanks to Heather Knutson, who has organized our uh, Lily and uh, Tulip sales this year. And thank to all of you who donated uh, for those flowers. If you like your flowers, come on back at 10 o'clock this morning, and you can pick them up and enjoy them in your home for the rest of your Easter Sunday. We conclude with, Thine is the glory. Thank you.